The M10 Booker is not the future of armored vehicles, but the present. After years of development, this light tank has been designed in a category of vehicle all its own. It's an exciting offering courtesy of the US Army, and as it becomes introduced into service, it threatens to become ever-present on the battlefield. There's a reason why the Booker won the Army's Mobile Protected Firepower program. Let's find out why. But before we get started, if you enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get more sent straight to your notifications. The M10 Booker was formerly known as the Mobile Protective Firepower, or MPF, and was designed as a new tracked combat vehicle of the US Army. It comes courtesy of American company General Dynamics Land Systems to improve the combat capabilities of the US Army Infantry Brigade Combat Team. The IBCT is one of the main types of brigade-sized units. These units are known for being highly mobile and flexible, so they needed a vehicle that could suit that requirement. In 2016, defense news outlets reported that the Army wanted to create a light ground combat vehicle to maintain the relevance of these combat teams during extensive combat operations against an equivalent enemy. The vehicle was first called a light tank, but the Army insisted this was going to be a novel concept and it was designated as the MPF to ensure troops didn't treat it like a traditional tank and use it like the M1 Abrams main battle tank. The M10 Booker's evolution presented a chance to fill a void left by the retirement of the M551 Sheridan Armored Reconnaissance Airborne Assault Vehicle. In 2018, the Army selected bids from General Dynamics Land Systems and BAE Systems to develop their designs to fit the MPF brief. Prototypes of GDLS's Griffin II and BAE's M8 AGS were sent to the Army at the start of 2020. Two years later, BAE's submission was discounted, and the Army selected the GDLS model for initial production later that year. In 2023, the Army officially reclassified the vehicle as the M10 Booker. After development and testing in June of that year, the U.S. Army announced the award of a $1.14 billion contract to GDLS for the production and fielding of up to 96 M10 Booker vehicles. The overall objective is for 504 vehicles in total, with 14 per brigade combat team. There's a significant reason why the vehicle was named Booker. There are two people, both no longer with us, who have the surname Booker and have been specifically honored with the M10. The first is Robert D. Booker, a soldier who fought as part of the U.S. Army in North Africa in 1943. When fighting against Axis forces in World War II, he used his machine gun to defeat one machine gun nest, and despite receiving fatal injuries, guided his squad as they advanced. For these actions, he was awarded a posthumous Medal of Honor. The second is Stephen A. Booker. He was among the tank crew leading the April 2003 assault on Baghdad in Iraq. After the mounted machine gun failed to operate, he lay prone on top of the tank and guided his unit to defeat anti-tank fire. During this act of bravery, he was also fatally wounded during these actions and was awarded a posthumous Distinguished Service Cross. Now both will live on through this new offering that is said to be part of the US Army's plans for many years in the future. In terms of design, the M10 Booker is like a conventional armored vehicle with the driver and engine at the front, with the turret located at the rear of the hull. The turret has a crew of a commander, gunner, and loader. The design of this turret is based on the M1 Abrams tank using the M1A2 SCP V3 fire control system and the commander's independent thermal viewer. The Booker also uses components and systems from the Asgard armored tracked vehicle platform which is fully designed and developed by General Dynamics European Land Systems. The M10 also has additional armor panels and under-vehicle protection against improvised explosive devices. Further to this, for the additional safety of the crew, the design incorporates a tested compartmentalization system for ammunition storage. The M10 has been designed with mobility and firepower in mind to make it a useful tool for clearing challenging and uneven terrain and then using a powerful gun to destroy fixed defenses and any defenders left crewing them. 
The US Army already had one mobile tank-like vehicle with a high-powered gun for similar purposes. This is the Stryker Mobile Gun System. That vehicle is armored and turreted, but has eight wheels instead of treads, and the Army is looking to move away from this kind of system. In doing so, the new M10 Booker will fill a similar role, but with armor designed for modern warfare. For weaponry, the main armament of this vehicle is a 105mm cannon based on the American M35. For secondary armament, there's a 7.62mm machine gun mounted coaxially. The main cannon is loaded manually and has the ability to fire armor-piercing, discarding Sabo and high-explosive rounds with a maximum firing range of 1.1 miles for the armor-piercing shells and 2.5 miles for the high-explosive equivalent. The APDS is a spin-stabilized kinetic energy projectile used for anti-armor warfare. If needed, one 12.7mm heavy machine gun can also be mounted on the commander hatch. On top of this, two banks of four smoke grenade launchers are mounted on each side at the front of the turret. Further to its weapons, the vehicle has Saffron Optics 1's PASEO Commander's Independent Tactical Viewer Long Range Panoramic Targeting Sight. This improves the situational awareness capabilities of armored and surveillance vehicles in all combat scenarios, whether that's stationary and on the move, even at high speeds. It's an advanced panoramic sight specifically designed to improve the survivability and fighting capabilities of infantry fighting vehicles and main battle tanks. One of the main requirements of this type of vehicle was for it to be maneuverable so it's essential that the vehicle is mobile across a variety of terrains. To do this, the Booker has a state-of-the-art MTU diesel engine contributing 800 horsepower and an Allison transmission system. This gives an excellent power-to-weight ratio, and the ride is further improved with hydro-pneumatic suspension. The suspension seen on the vehicle is developed by the company Hortzman Group, which uses high-pressure nitrogen gas and an integrated oil damper all contained within the road arm. It appears on each side of six road wheels with a drive sprocket at the front and idler at the rear. All of this gives troops access to exceptional speed and adaptability in cross-country navigation. The M10 can run at a maximum road speed of 40 miles per hour and has a top road range of around 190 miles. It's able to operate for 24 hours off the ramp or on arrival at a drop zone. The way this tank-like vehicle is built means that it can move over a variety of terrain like steep hills, valleys, cities, and rivers with relative ease. The cross-drive transmission system that it is fitted with is specifically engineered to help with propulsion, steering, and braking in medium-tracked combat vehicles. The road to introduce the M10 to the battlefield has been anything but smooth. Early tests revealed issues like high levels of toxic fumes when firing the main gun. Addressing these concerns has been crucial before wide adoption. However, the first unit of M10 Bookers is expected by the end of 2025. But this excellent vehicle doesn't come cheap. It's priced at around $13 million a piece. As production scales increase, these costs are expected to drop. The Booker is a significant evolution in armored vehicle design. It addresses the changing nature of modern warfare, giving a mix of mobility, firepower, and protection. While it may not replace heavy tanks like the Abrams in head-to-head -head armored confrontations, the Booker fills a much-needed gap in the U.S. Army's capabilities. It signals a clear recognition of the need for versatile, deployable, and effective armored solutions in the 21st century. What are your thoughts on the M10? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.